I love being a part of Western Living's Designer of the Year Awards. Every year I just think our submissions get better and better. It's, really, it's, it's wonderful. It was really fun to do it and also very stressful. It's difficult sometimes to um, decipher who's been doing this a long time and who's been doing it a short time. And I have to say, the second year I've done it, and it, this year it's, it was harder than the year before. It's fantastic recognition because uh, we try really hard to do things differently and we're, um, we're breaking new ground every day in architecture and design. So. It's nice to get a little recognition. I felt like that there was a, a, a relationship to context and sight that permeated a lot of the submissions, not just the award winner. I'd like to think that West Coast has an aesthetic, being as a West Coast designer. <laughs> and I think it's got a lot to do with our surroundings the climate. Really the design brief in the beginning was to create a house that would be an umbrella. So what we did is we played with that a little bit and we turned it inside out and made an umbrella that gathered the water in the center and then funneled that water into big tanks underground and that's the water that she uses uh, for her daily use. wonderful event and I think it's terrific that Pamela Masick would give her space for this. Tonight you'll see over 100 paintings and sculptures in my studio. I do a lot of resin work and a lot of action painting. Well, it's, it's, it's great fun. There's artwork being created as we speak. I wanted to do something a bit uh, design oriented so I designed the whole set including this organic cocoon and the performance was called Awakening. This is fantastic because it's one of these rare times, actually very seldom do we ever get together and all meet, and especially in such a beautiful spot. So it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity.